What is going on guys? Today I'm going to show you how to make um, an object, uh, something pick up an object and then let it go using parents. So basically turning off and on a parent. So this is what i done for an, an example. As you can see, it picks the object up, moves it around and places it there. And then it doesn't make it move at all after dropping it. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I actually watched a tutorial myself on how to do this. But the video was like half an hour long. So I kind of feel it shouldn't take that long to explain how to do this. So first get your armatures. My armatures didn't actually have an object attached to them. I just, I can't bother to do that. Alright, make whatever you want. That's going to pick it up. No. Let's make it look a little bit nicer. Here we go. And let's make a cube. Put it here. And let's make this not face towards the cube yet. Let's make it up like here. Alright, so first of all you want to select your whole object and you want to lock it. Then animate it going down to get pick up your object. They need to open up. To there, to there. Alright, so that should pick up. Oh, and I look at rotation. Or you can push that little key there, and then so when you move sign, it does the frame for you. Okay, so that should animate to go into the cube phase. So now it's not clearly, if I go to 20, it's not going to make that move at all yet. So we need to parent it. But don't just go like this and go parent. Oh god. Don't just do that. Wrong one. Because. That's going to make it permanently parented. You won't be able to make it let go of it. So let's undo that. All right. So now what you want to do is click on here, constraint, add constraint, and click child of. Now you want to select armature, whatever your bone is, and then the specific bone you want it to follow. We want it to follow, I think, this one, or it could be this one. But what's this one? Bone 004. You can name the bones different things, but I just like doing it by what they actually are. Okay, when you do that, it's going to mess up. Just click set inverse and it should go back to its place. So now, as you can see, it's attached to it, right? However, it's attached to it at the start as well. So, what you want to do to fix that is go to here, click, make sure you're still clicked on the cube and you're still on constraint and set it to zero. And then click I. Now that we've clicked I and I've clicked this button, it will automatically do it when I uh, thingy. All right? Here's where you want it to start picking it up, so push I on that again, go forward one frame, no wait, it actually goes down to it on 11, oh I was on 9, my bad, delete, right there, and we want the influence to go to full, so now, oh wait, my bad, put 0, sorry, so 0 to 0, 0, and then on the next frame, put it to um, max, Right, so now all you've got to do is make this move it. So we want it to lift it up. Uh, we want it to look good. Lift it up. Oh, yeah, they don't affect it because I've attached it to this. Okay, lift it up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Move it over here. Put that nice and straight. Take that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And lower it down till it's flat on the ground. Okay. Like that. So now it picks it up, moves it. Right, now that you got that, when you start, when you want it to le let go of it now, it's not going to let go. You have to do that yourself, sadly. Alright, so it picks it up like that. We don't want that. We want it to stop picking it up at frame 40. So I push I on that, go forward one frame, and then set it to zero. And if you haven't got that set, push I on it. Right, now it's going to move. So what you have to do is move it back to its position. However, if you start moving it now, it's going to completely mess it up. What you've got to do, when did I leave it? There you go. What you've got to do is go back one frame, 
location rotation and then go forward a frame so when it goes back to zero and then move it into the spot you want it to stay so if we go backwards a frame forward we can determine where it's going to sit here we go and then if we watch that it should do the whole thing Alright, thank you for watching. I hope this helps anyone that was confused on how to parent something. As you can see, that kind of jaggers a little bit. But all you've got to do is set it. Let's move it into a better position so it doesn't look like it. Alright, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps you with whatever you were stuck on. If you were trying to get a hand to pick up a torch or something and then put it back down. Uh, I hope this helped again. And bye-bye.